If you're in construction, you know that a lot can happen in the process of your installation, especially with exterior cladding like metal roofs, metal walls. We're talking things like paint over spray, bio growth over time, um, adhesives. Today, we're gonna look at how to remove these different problems on your metal roof, on your metal wall system. I've got Paul Watts from Watts Removal. Thanks so much for being here, Paul. Yeah, definitely, thank you. So we're gonna look at a couple different products yeah. today and how to um, apply them, what they're used for, and where they can get them. So what are some things we need to remember before we jump in? First thing we need to remember is that we're working with a chemical, right? So we always wanna make sure we're wearing our proper PPEs, as in gloves and glasses when we're putting this on. The other thing we want to remember with the contractors and even when we're working out the, with the homeowners, all the products are biodegradable, non-toxic, VOC compliant, and water soluble. Cool. So we're going we're gonna to save the landscape when we're out there. We're not going to kill that landscape if we're washing the roof or washing the side of a building. Now, a big question is, you know, our contractors know that Sheffield Metals uses Sherwin-Williams paint on, right. on their system. So what's this going to do to Sherwin-Williams warranty, uh, paint systems, things like that? So the great thing about watch removal products on these two products, Clean Sweep and Crossover, is these two products have been uh, tested and approved by Sherwin-Williams. They've had about 2,500 hours worth of testing. It's on a global specification. So if you look on the global specification on how to clean overspray or bio growth or just general maintenance on the, um, on the Sherwin-Williams paint, there's two products that they recommend. The first is water and the second is watts removal. So you go to watts removal, you can clean that. It won't damage the sheen, won't take off the paint and you're left with a beautiful system. Awesome, so in this video, we've got a wide variety of things to look at that we're gonna remove on our mock-ups back here. In the next video, we're gonna look at strippable film, PVC film that's been left on in the sun too long, that's got adhesive sticking to the panels. That's in the next video, so stay tuned for that. Paul, let's go check out our mock-ups and see what we got to work with. Let's check it out. All right, first thing we're looking at, you've just installed a metal roof, painters come by to touch something up, we've got paint overspray here, or you're a homeowner, you've already had your metal roof installed and you go to touch something up, got paint overspray, you know, what do we do in this right. situation? So in this situation, we're gonna use Clean Sweep. Anytime we're using a product um, on the metal panels, we wanna test a small little area first before we just go in and lather the product all over the roof. We're gonna spray the product on, kinda agitate it with a damp cloth, Remember the product's water neutral. So we don't mix the product with water. It's use it straight out of the bottle. So we're gonna spray it on the panels, do a little spot right here and wipe it off and take this paint completely off without damaging the panels. All right, on let's here. take a look. So we'll do a little spot here. Just kind of spray it on. What you'll see the product do, the products are meant to encapsulate a small little layer of paint, pen, marker, any type of contaminant that's on the, on the roof. What it'll do is it'll start loosening up that paint. The products are formulated wow. to actually encapsulate the paint. You'll see how it encapsulates it. It doesn't let it actually redeposit onto the surface. This right here, you know you have the, you have the right product for the right surface. As soon, as soon as it starts breaking up the paint, see how it takes the little bits? Yep. Then you can take your damp cloth and you can just kind of Wipe that area clean, turn it over, wipe it, and then you're left with a nice clean surface. Awesome. Once you know you have this, then depending on where the um, contaminant is on the roof, you can start from the top and work down so the water runs down into the gutters and then into the landscape. Okay, so if you have a big area right. you know, and you need to fix a large area, what do you do in that situation? In that situation, take a gallon of uh, clean sweep, put it into a small pump sprayer like you, you, know, you get for um, you know, your landscaping areas and then apply it. Apply it like a waterfall effect. Don't, don't just mist it. Put it on there, put a good coat of the uh, clean sweep on there okay. with the pump sprayer. Agitate it a little bit with a very, very soft deck brush or, um, or just a regular hand brush. Get that surface so it's loosening up the paint or the contaminant, and then just rinse it off with a pressure washer. Now, when I mean rinse it off, we don't use the pressure washer as a typical pressure washer, okay? The only reason we have the pressure washer up there is to rinse the paint off the surface. So we're a foot and a half back on the surface, a 15 degree tip and just rinse it off. Okay, because you can damage the paint if you put too much pressure on it. So you have to be extremely careful and make sure you understand what you're doing with that pressure washer. Correct. What are we looking at next? What else can it take off? So a lot of times we have contractors that have you know different types of things up on the roof that they're fixing, not just putting on the roof, but they're maybe doing some touch up. Yeah, and HVAC. Like that. HVAC, yeah. there's, there's a lot of different things that could be up on this roof. 
Now, this, this right here, what we've put on is basically an epoxy. It's kind of uh, similar to your uh, rhino bed lining, mm -hmm. things like that. Really tough, it catalyzes with the air, it gets really, really hard. Uh, so we want to show how we can get some of this off. We know it can get off oil-based paint and latex paint, but even some of these catalyzed urethanes or these epoxies like this, they dry really, really hard. So we want to show you how we can get that and we can get that off. Sweet. And what are we using to, to get that off with? So we used, you know, last time we used uh, clean sweep into the spray or into the pump sprayer. Now we're, since we have just a small little area, we're going to use it in a bucket and a brush. It's okay. clean sweep also. Again, we don't want to take anything that's going to damage um, the roof here or damage the metal. So we don't need any wire brushes. We don't need any steel wool. We don't even want the green scrat scratchy pads, okay? Yeah. So this, we're gonna apply it with a bucket and a brush, just in a small little area. Cool. And no water, right? This is just clean, sweet product. It's clean, sweet product. All the products are meant to be used directly out of the bottle without any water. Because remember, once you add water to it, it neutralizes the product and makes it stop working. Got it. So if it's a really rainy day out there, Maybe not a good idea to come out there and apply clean sweep. Good to know. You know, yeah. you know just let, let it be somewhat dry out there. Okay. So here again, we're going to do a little test area. Again, test a small little spot. Now, one thing about the product, you know, we have to learn with contractors is to be patient. Okay. You know, it, it is satisfying to get it off really quick, but let the product do the work on there. Don't let somebody get out there with a green scrubby and try to scrub it off. Yeah. Because the longer you let the product work, the more success that you're gonna have. Okay, so how long approximately do you gotta so let it sit? So we're gonna time it right here. Okay, so we put that on there. It's been about, you know, about 30 seconds or so. We're gonna come back with our brush and we're gonna wanna see if the product starts loosening up. So here's the rule of thumb on Watts removal okay. products. If you can get some of it, you can get all of it. Got it. Okay. So if you can get a little bit of that, you know you'll be able to remove all of it that you're trying to. So we've had really good success there, which is great. And just with a brush, a soft little bristle paint brush, then you can take your damp cloth that you have, and then nice. You can wipe. You can wipe that off. That's awesome. So now we did our test spot. We know we're gonna have 100% success, so we're just gonna move on to the rest. Got it. Again, when you're putting the product on, put it on pretty liberally, okay? What we don't wanna see is somebody just put it in on, you know, kinda like that, mm -hmm. okay? We wanna be really systematic at it. Put it on, kinda have the cascade waterfall effect That's right, down. yeah, yeah, yeah. Brush that on like you were brushing on paint. Painters will know this. And again, you know, we did we timed it down here, right? So mm -hmm. we know it's going to work pretty fast. The great thing with the brush is the brush actually works into the contaminant in there. Yep. So we're going to go back with our brush and we're just going to kind of work it in. You're going to get some thicker spots and some thinner spots. Sure. But once you once you see it start darkening up like this, again, let the product do the work. And just because the product gets a little dirty in your bucket, it's still really, it's still good, okay? I'm gonna show you kind of some, what, how to fix some areas that maybe a contractor would, you know, not have a lot of patience with. Is that what he'll do is he'll wipe it and you'll see, still see some little remnants on there, right? Just go back, reapply the hit product again. and hit yep. it again. Just let it sit. And you'll see it'll start loosening up those areas. And those thicker bits may take a little bit more time, but I'm talking maybe two or three more minutes of time. Sure. Okay. I do want to eat, reiterate too, is you know, we talked about PPE earlier, but the amount of product we're using here, you yeah. know, it's going everywhere. It definitely has the potential to get in your eyes. Yes. You know, get on your skin. So PPE is important. So it looks like we got a pretty good, you know, dirty surface here from uh, taking off the, the paint or the contaminant here. We're yep. going to take just a damp cloth. We're going to just kind of wipe it off. Nice. That's a huge difference. Again, it's not going to redeposit back onto the surface. So you're not going to end up with a, a dirtier surface than you started with. Okay. But you'll see some small little areas. Even the little bit of the, of the product that's on your towel, you can probably go in there and kind oh, of wipe yeah, those yeah, out. Yeah, okay? yeah, I see that. So you don't need to re you know, reapply it with the brush. There's already some product on your towel here. Yep. Kind of flip it up, try to have a, a clean rag or a towel. And I can imagine you, you could go. probably go back with some water as yeah, well and yeah. help yourself out. It's as not well. a bad idea to do that, kind of rinse down the area sure. itself. Um, when you rinse it down, you know, it neutralizes it, makes it stop working. Right. Um, and then you come up with a clean surface. Awesome. 
So this next section here, uh, we had a contract, let's say we had a contractor with some wet patch up on the roof, stepped in it and kind of traipsed it across uh, your metal roof here. Again, these are really, really thick spots on here. Yep. So we're gonna use the same process, bucket it, bucket in a brush, and we're just gonna apply it. But we're gonna use the same system as in, we're gonna let that brush just kind of work the clean sweep into that, into that wet patch. The product's gonna come off. You can take your towel. Now the good thing with the brush is that, you know, you can put put the product on there and you can pretty much work out yeah, whatever's on there. You can see the little, just start yep. falling off. And, and you, you know, it's just, it's all about not getting too anxious. So what we wanna do with the contractors and we wanna be able to, you know, kind of have this in their hip pocket is yep. we wanna eliminate callbacks. Right. We want the contractors to get paid on the job when they finish the job and, and that little punch list that they need to do. We don't want them to have to come back out to the job site two or three times, because in our world, if you're able to remove something like this without the customer seeing it, then it never happened. Yeah. Right. So keeping this in your truck or in your car for just these little problem areas that you need to fix. It, elim it definitely eliminates those callbacks. Awesome. And and your product comes in a few different sizes as well. You can get a smaller size. You can get gallon size. Is that right? right? Yeah, we can get uh, you know all the way up to you know 275 gallon tote if we needed to. Oh, but wow. you know spray bottle. We're going to demonstrate the wipes that we have here that are really handy for contractors sure. for smaller areas. Um, and then gallons, five gallons, 55 gallon drums. We have a lot of contractors that um, again you don't want to feed this through your pressure washer. Because when you feed it through your pressure washer, it mixes with water. So it's not, a, it's not like a detergent you would mix with your pressure washer. Got you want to apply this first and then, and then uh, wipe it off or brush it off. So as this breaks up, you see it's taking a little bit more time than mm -hmm. the other areas, but the, uh, the sequence is, you know, to get it on there, wipe it off, and then for this area too, just reapply. Yep. But again, as long as you're getting some of it, you know, you can get all of it. Get get the majority of it, wipe it off, you know, get these areas as it starts to come off and then just keep reapplying. Got it. Now what you could do is you can apply this and go to a different area and apply and then a different area and apply. Yep, and then come back and, and then just come continue back the process. And get this. Yeah, but those little nibs right here that you need to get off, again, just working with a soft little brush and then wiping it off, you'll be able to get those areas and make it look Pretty much brand new again out there. Sweet. And we even got something different here. We got grease uh, that's been on the metal roof Yeah, as you know, well, we've right? had some contractors that have maybe had, um, you know, for some reason had some grease up there. Maybe they had some hydraulic fluid. They were up over a, an awning and yeah, they had on the a lift or something, yeah. and it was dripping yeah. on there. The same, it's the same process, putting that product on. This will break up really fast. Nice. And we've been using the same small amount this entire time. We have been, and it's, and it's still working. Then you can take that and then take your, and then you can wipe that off. Awesome. Just like that. Now, ideally you want to install your finished metal panels after siding guys have come, after stucco guys have come and done their work, but sometimes that's unavoidable and you know, you get some stucco overspray. So right. what do we do in this situation? So in this situation, we have a little, um, texture overspray on here. Sometimes when we get some stucco overspray, that stucco obviously has cement and rocks in it, so you have to be really careful. Yep. So th this overspray here, again, test a small area before you do a larger area. We're gonna use Clean Sweep again on this. So we're gonna test a little area down here. We're just gonna spray that on. And this this uh, texture overspray, you know, if they're doing, you know, texturing the side of a house, or, you yep. know, maybe it came from inside the house onto the, onto the panels. But again, testing a little area seeing if it's actually gonna remove any of that contaminant that's on there. As long as you have a good success on a small little area, you're free to get the whole thing. Yeah, and you made a great point when we're talking about something like stucco that does have that texture in it. You let the product do the work. Correct, Because yeah. if you go and try to scrub your metal panel, then you could you're go scratching scratch it, it off. Up. Right, so again, let the product do all the work. Now that you have a little bit of a good test area here, you know, we'll kind of start in this area here. Again, do it pretty liberally. Put that on there. Just don't do a, um, an area that is just gonna mist it. Make sure you get it on there really well. Now, if you do have access to a soft bristle brush or maybe a microfiber towel, 
you can actually take it and maybe t and just kind of work it in. All you're doing is working the product into that overspray or into that stucco or that texture. Yep. On some warmer days, remember the product's made out of soluble oils and alcohol, so it's gonna dry pretty fast. If the product dries, it stops working. So just reapply the product. And if you're up on the roof too, contractors, remember that the, the product is somewhat oily. So we're having all your uh, safety harnesses and everything up, else up on that roof. You know, if you're walking on this, if you're spraying in and walking at the same time, it's gonna be a little slippery. Got it. Again, working it in with that brush. Nice. And then taking a damp, clo damp cloth because water neutralizes it. Just take that damp cloth and wipe that area off. That's awesome. Like it never happened. Yeah. One thing that we always tell contractors is if you're chalking a line, make sure you clean that chalk dust off as soon as possible because it can damage the paint finish over time if you're chalking a valley, something like that. So we're gonna look at chalk dust next, a small section of adhesive, mm -hmm. uh, and then some kind of paint pen, marker, per permanent marker, something like that. Right, so what we're gonna do here again, you know, testing a small little area, we have our clean sweep wipes. Our clean sweep wipes are really effective and um, user friendly for contractors that can keep in their trucks. They never go dry, they're hermetically sealed. But for doing small little areas like this, um, it's a good one use type, sure. of, type of product. Again, we're testing these small areas to make sure we get 100% success out of them. So our clean sweep wipes, here you can hold one of those. I'm gonna open this up and it's hermetically sealed to hold this wipe here. The wipe really unfolds pretty large, yeah. right? And it has a really, um, has some really good content of product in here. So it holds a lot of product in there. What we usually like to do is, it has an exfoliating side in one side, kind of a smooth side out of the other. We kind of take it and scrunch it up. And then if we're just doing a small little test area, we can do that little test area in here and see if it's gonna take off this adhesive. A lot of the times we have the strippable film that will leave that adhesive on the backing sometimes. Yep. And that's kind of what rep, this is represent, representing. So the product has an adhesive remover quality to it. So we're doing a small little test spot. We could take our damp cloth, wipe it off, and you notice it'll take that adhesive right off. Again, the same with your chalk line. Do a little small area of your chalk line. You won't need to bust into a full gallon or a spray spray bottle, but then you just be able to nice. kind of turn it over, work it, wipe it with your damp cloth. Again, the product's water neutral. And then get those areas here. Yep. And then turn it over. So the wipes are really only meant for a small area. Yeah, and I can see these being really useful for a homeowner too. You oh, know, yeah. let's say they have a, a metal wall section that they accidentally get uh, some kind of product on, some kind of t contaminant. Right. These are um, super user friendly for them to just quickly remove this this Re contaminant. Remove it and then, and then throw them away, yep. just in the trash. Awesome. So we have, uh, we have here permanent marker. So this permanent marker here, and then this is an oil-based paint pen. Okay. Uh, on here. So these two surfaces here, again, using our clean sweep wipes and just, just, doing, a, just doing a test spot. Wow. So that's, that per comes that's right off. permanent marker on that. Wow. And then you can take it and then wipe that off. So again, permanent marker, wipe nice. it off. Nice. And then your uh, paint pen, your oil-based paint pens, you should be able to just do your little areas and then take your damp cloth. Nice. And then wipe those areas off nice and clean. Yeah, this brings up a good question about the paint pens because, um, you know, here's a scratch right here. Yep. And Sherwin-Williams sells uh, through Sheffield Metals a, a paint pen that matches all their different paints. Right. You know, it's an, it's an air dry PVDF. Mm -hmm. So is that something that's gonna be damaged if you use a clean sweep wipe on an area like that? Well, usually when you're cleaning these panels, you know, you're going through one time and you're cleaning everything, right? You're cleaning all the contaminants and then you come back and then you put the, put the paint pen on there. So you should be fine with Got that. Got it, yeah. okay. Yeah, but always test your areas again before, you, before you're doing it. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. You, you can 
always come back and, and retouch and an retouch area. that up. Right. Okay, makes right. sense. And, you know, the products are removed to, you know, clean ink pen markers, spray can markers, things like that. So just, you know, test test all the markers and all the things that you're using on the panel. Awesome. And, yeah. you know, we're going to do a couple more videos. We're going to talk about adhesive more, how to remove strippable film that's been left on a panel. And we're going to talk about uh, Watts Removal's crossover product. Correct. We're looking at bio growth, things like that. So, Paul, thanks so much yeah, for being here. I mean, yeah. this was an awesome demonstration. Yeah, thank you. So where can people find your products? So people can go directly to our website at wattsremoval.com. If you go under the Sherwin-Williams tab, we have a lot of how-to videos on how to clean different surfaces. Um, everything from the strippable to paint and overspray to adhesive to tiger striping. And then we're always available for consults, so feel free to call or email us. Awesome. Well, Paul, Great. thank you so much. Thanks, man. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Yeah. If you have any questions, comment down below. We'd love to answer them. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel. And as always, I'm Thad Barnett. We'll catch you next time. Thank you.